In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the modular mesh toolkit with the popular advanced locomotion system. The first thing we have to do is migrating some content from the modular mesh toolkit example project, namely the characters folder and the modular mannequin UE5 folder. Click migrate, deselect control rig, and now we are going to migrate it to advanced locomotion content. Now we have all the modular parts of the UE5 mannequin in the advanced locomotion project folder. And um, the first thing we are going to do is creating a new animation blueprint class based on the UE5 mannequin skeleton and we are calling it UE4 to UE5 retarget. The only note we need here is the retarget pose from mesh node, and we also need to select the IK retarget asset, which is the UE4 many to UE5 many. Next up, we are going to create a subclass of the ALS default character, calling it ALS element modular, and we are going to replace this Now we are just going to add the modular mesh handler component. And in the begin play event, we call add modular meshes and we set up the base mesh here, the innerated one, as the parent. So basically, the modular mesh parts are going to be driven by this parent mesh. Now here in the initialization settings, we are going to select our uh, retarget animation blueprint. And here we can also define a default set of meshes that we uh, want to have added. And um, so if custom set is not hooked up, it will just use the default set here. So we're starting here with adding the body. And as an identifier, we also add a gameplay tag. So basically for each part here, the setup is the same. To speed this up a little, I've prepared uh, the asset here with all the five modular parts added. Um, we don't need to make any other changes. So basically, you can also define custom materials if you want to, but for a start, we're not going to do that. So basically, that's it. Now we're having the modular UE5 mannequin inside ALS, and everything works as you would expect it to work. Another thing I want to show you is how you can easily replace uh, and swap out one of the modular mesh parts. And to do this, you simply call the replace modular mesh function and you pick the part based on the gameplay tag. Now we're going to take the body here and we're setting this to Quinn body. And now when we press G, the upper body is easily replaced. Also, if you have auto create material instances enabled, um, the replaced part will also automatically uh, have uh, new material instances created.